What's good, YouTube? Yeah, we're 21. Here, bring you guys a little discussion today. And excuse me. Rip it, line record. But I'll, and I'll know, so the discussion is going to be today is a little debate. And something I want to start and get the Yu Gi Oh community involved. And that's going to be getting Konami to stop doing these retarded ass drafts for these major events. And the reason why I want to start this is because, well, like, Konami originally started the draft events because back in the day, before drafting was even established, which is like, I want to say a year ago, people were bitching and complaining, saying the only, only reason pro players top events and win events consistently is because of them using overpowered decks that budget players like myself and some other people can't afford, which is why when some budget players do sneak their way into the top 32, they always scrub out to the pros because they play against the pro players using the best decks and most expensive cards like Power Hand, with like Giant Hand, etc. But over the past year since this drafting thing has been established, the same thing has been going on that was going on beforehand. The same people top these events. Yeah, you still get your randoms in the top 16, top 32, whatever, but drafting was, was initiated to establish who had more skill. And guess what, guys? The same people win the events. Patrick Hoban won a YCS when it was draft format. Billy Brayton won a YCS when it was draft format. Um, Jeff Jones topped consistently. I think Fraser Smith topped a few YCS during this draft format and made it pretty far. And a lot of the other these new school pros that I really don't know about. But my main point is, I'm trying to bring out is like, What's the point of this draft stuff? Like, there really is no point. I don't. I see what Konami was coming from. They wanted people to see how skillful people really were, and they wanted. I guess they were, they were experimenting to see did this was there a skill difference? Could the poor man who sacked his way in the top thirty-two of a YCS learn how to draft better and promote his way into a victory? And the fact of the matter is, they the poor man didn't. I mean, the last person that won a YCS that was unknown with draft was the guy that won YCS Chicago. And he probably was just one of those locally known good players. I don't know who the fuck the guy was. Hey, he might even be a pro. I just don't know who he was. I don't know a lot of these new pros, and I just know the basics and who I hear about a lot. My main point is, like, the same – the drafting thing is irrelevant. The same people are topping and winning these events consistently. So I believe that Konami honestly should just – abolish the whole drafting for top 16 and etc because it's really boring no one wants to go to konami website and read draft all day i believe drafting is really stupid and it might cheat some of the pros out of their wins because like for example okay let's say billy billy did win the event okay billy won the event with his um by drafting really well so let's say billy made top 16 okay billy made top 16 with a 60 card whatever the fuck he played deck. So, what if in top 16, he would have played against another good player? And that good player smacks Billy up with their 40-card deck. So, since the other good player smacked Billy up with his 40-card um, deck, Billy could have probably went home, made his deck better. Now, everyone thinking 60-card decks are going to be viable, which Billy proved that they are viable, but how viable are they really? Could a 60-card deck really win an event? It can get you far, but does a candidate really win an event? There's a lot of questions that are left unknown because the players that made it to top 16 aren't finishing their duels. So I know this kind of sounds kind of random, but my main point is, once again, it's just to, to get, like, this Konami just to abolish the, abolish the um, drafting because it's really just a waste of time. It's boring to read, and no one wants it. And what they're trying to prove has been just, has been defalsified. The same people are topping these events, so why keep it up? I mean, only a few amount of people actually put in the time and effort and play testing to get good at this game anyway, so why not let us play it with our real decks if we top 16? Why not? Like, I'll hate, this. I'll hate if I top 16 a YCS with my gadget deck right now and I have to draft. And even if I did win the event, it still won't be the same. The prestige won't be the same. Gadgets wouldn't have won the event. I would have won the event, and I want my guy to win the event. So, I guess what I'm trying to say, I want to start a revolution. I want us as players to come together 
and boycott these Konami events until they change it back to the way it was. Because these are this is it's getting ridiculous, honestly. Like Europe doesn't do it, no around the world does it, but the U.S. And I'm it's just I'm just sick and tired of us getting screwed over with the drafting thing. So if you whoever wants to boycott these Konami events, I say come join join with me. Now, granted. It's not, a lot of people aren't going to do it, but I feel like if all of us work together, Konami will listen. They will say, okay, enough people don't want this drafting thing anymore. They're hurting our numbers. They will get rid of it. And honestly, we should boycott these events and go to more to ARGs and support our local shops and our local stores hold one case because those are the people that are going to let her play with our real decks and actually give us something for it. Now, I know there's legal issues why Konami can't give us good prizing, like money and stuff, so that's understandable, but for things they can control, like drafting and et cetera, stuff that we openly admitted thousands of one times that we don't like, and something that the pros who keep on topping or winning the events, no matter what the format is, is proves that the little scrub that bits Ransom Simone about his little gadget deck or about his little battery man deck that made top 32 but lost to a real deck, that little the same scrub is still losing, so... Let's boycott these events, guys. Let's stop going to these events. Let's show Konami who's boss, and let's show them that we really want our game to go back to where it was. I want events to have the prestige of this deck won first place, this deck won first place, not Billy Break won because he drafted skillful. That's just boring. Leave drafting for a different format. Let me know what you guys think about this idea in the comment section down below. Because I truly believe if we all band together, Konami will listen. Or, hell, let's start a petition to, to, to Konami. I will start a petition myself, but I don't know what website to go to to start these petitions. But if any of my subscribers or anybody watching this want to start the petition to um, get to Konami to abolish drafting, let's do it now. I'm sick of this shit. I really would like to see what would have happened if Billy would have took a 60 card deck to a grand finish and how it would have revolutionized the game state. So, all right. Let me you guys know what you guys think in this, um, about this idea in the comment section down below. And I'm out. Rate, comment, subscribe, guys. Deuces.